So I just made this avocado toast. I don't know how it's going to be. I just like toasted on 350 the Ezekiel uh, bread, put a little bit of a ripe avocado, and then sauteed baby kale, baby spinach, carrots, and diced onions. I feel like it'd be good with zoodles on it, but those would be super loaded. It'd be like loaded zoodle avocado toast. I'll try to make that maybe for like, um, I still need to go to Whole Foods today, but maybe for dinner or tomorrow for breakfast, but yay. Good morning and happy Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Is it in a weird setting? I feel like I'm not as bright as normal. I feel like it's a little bit brighter. But it's Saturday morning and I just like am feeling, this is very weird for me. I'm feeling like very calm and mellow. Like I feel like normally, yes, I'm centered, but I'm very like, but I feel like it's just like, because I'm a Gemini and I'm like, yeah, you know, like I'm just like, <laughs> like literally like I always, <laughs> I have no therapist. The other day I feel like I'm always like, <laughs> like, you know, like a dog when they're excited. But today I'm feeling so mellow. Like this morning I've been listening to an audiobook. Hey, no scratchy. Banisha. Oh, also guys, so in my vlogs I call Coco Banisha. It's just like funny. And someone's like, did she get a new cat? It's her new cat's name, Banisha. What happened to Coco? No, it's still Coco. Banish. She scratches on purpose. She knows it's fucked up. She still does it. But, um. I'm just cleaning up my apartment and I'm listening to an audiobook. It's called Daring Greatly, something basically how you should live your life. Basically, okay, like it's a whole book. I was this researcher. She's a, she's the same woman who has that TED talk. It's called like Be Vulnerable. I don't know. It's real. It went like viral. She wrote this book and it's just basically about how like being vulnerable is what creates like a good life because it's what create, creates real connections and how in our life like we are so interconnected and that connection is like the main connection and like that sense of love even if it's just like you know your friends, family, whatever. It all comes from vulnerability and I just think that's so true. I want to talk about this a little more in a second But I just think it's like it's a, for example like when I do coaching stuff like we get so vulnerable so quickly because like literally within like five minutes of the call I'm like okay, so what do you want to talk about and immediately like when I do this like they jump in the people I'm talking to jump into like their deep most vulnerable you know things that are going on in their life etc problems or things they want to work on and immediately I just feel like it creates it fosters this connection like within three weeks with the girls who I'm coaching especially the 10-week girls like I feel so close and connected to like it's just insane you just feel like there's like warmth and it's just like love you know and it's just then there's people who you're friends with for like years and there's you never there's nothing vulnerable ever shared so you don't even even feel close she just talks about like also from a research perspective of like there's like a whole sliding door theory so when someone like for example is sad and you can easily like slide the door like you don't really have to be there for them but you could like that's like shows that really fosters a deep connection when you choose to like slide the door open every time and be there for someone and I think that's just so true and I tweeted about this today but I just think I don't get like really emotional thinking because it, it makes me sad because like how I don't know if you go on Twitter everyone's always like I don't know, just I see this a lot like fuck feelings like I don't care I don't care like people almost want to seem as though like they don't care about something Thing. like it's so crazy like something will happen and I don't know what a friendship relationship whatever and then then they like they it's like almost like they want to prove that they don't care well, first of all it's uh, going back to projection people to be like I don't give a fuck or something like that like they do because you're projecting what you, you, it's like an it's like a mirror they're projecting what they want people to think but it's just a projection of their insecurity you know what I mean um so but it's like I don't under, I don't know it's just it, I was talking about this with I think I don't even know like five people like last week or I guess this week about how it's just it, people think like it's so cool to be like mm, I don't give a fuck like catch me not caring it's like are we are literally humans and we're interconnected and like love is literally what holds like us together whether it's like my love for you guys or if you watch my videos and you feel like some sort of connection to me like that holds us together you know like that's like a bond we have and you guys come here and we talk and you we tweet and like it's like that's that's already like a love connection you know what i mean that's what holds us together it's what gives our life purpose like your relationship with your friends your family your relate whatever you know what I mean and all that's vulnerable and she was even talking about how like I've never even thought I mean I have thought of it from this perspective but she really like I like the way she explained it and she was like basically you know even in friendships and relationships people think of trust as like you meet them and you give them your trust but it's almost like well that goes back to the, there's so much to say about this but there's two like um emotional like Archi ar archetypes, ar uh, I'm saying archetype, archetype, archetypes. Oh my god, I can't, I can't say that word. So there's like the fizz and then the emo, and they work on different emotional cycles. So uh, someone who's a fizz works on 24 hour like emotional cycles. Someone who's emo is a five day cycle. You can read. There's a whole book about that. I'll try to find it. But, but where was I going? You know, like I'm. Go it's like I'm going somewhere, but I feel like I have to explain the little thingies along the way. But it just. 
Oh, so like, yeah, like, so when you're in a relationship, it's like you people think that, you know, like, fizzes give trust right away. Like, so if you meet someone and you give them 100% trust right away, that's like more fits. And then, like, if, if people, the other person does something, you like take like percentages of trust away. For someone who's like an emo or more like emotionally reserved, they give like 1%, 1%, 1%. And it takes like a long time to get to 100, if that makes sense. Um, but like, how people think of trust as like you just give, give it to someone, but it's almost like trust is like, she was talking about how it's like a marble jar, how like, you know, like you have the marbles put in there and you're not gonna wait to give the mar so like the marble jar is like trust, right? So like you kind of give the trust right away because you're not gonna be like she was talking about how like a teacher's not gonna not give its students like the marble jar of trust. I know I'm, it's hard for me to explain this because it's like I'm so deep in the book now that there's a lot I'm trying to make it so simple, but basically it's like teacher's not gonna be like I'm not gonna give you guys the marble jar until I know you're capable of putting the marbles in the jar. Like the teacher almost ex under like, the teacher almost expects or understands that the students have the capability to build trust. That's kind of how like us with humans, like we know that we both, me and whoever, this is a, a you know a relationship, friendship, has the capability to build trust. So you give the marble jar, and that's like your trust. And then the marbles are like almost like bits of trust. You know what I mean? And like a little bit, you put a little in when they do something small. You can take a little bit out because most people think that trust is like shattered. Like all the marbles are removed. But sometimes it's like these like little things. You know, someone will do something little. You'll pull out a marble. You put back in a marble. And yeah, I don't know. That was just like interesting. We should talk about it. And she was like, you know, you have the most trust with someone when you just you're more putting you you're only putting in marbles. That marbles aren't being taken out. I thought that was an interesting analogy. I don't know what my thoughts are on that. I think that's interesting. Um, what, else is, what else that I just really like? Oh yeah, just how like even when in friendships and relationships, like every single day that you care about someone, it's like you, that's being vulnerable because you don't, you can't control them. You know, you can't control their free will. Any day your friend, someone could be like, bye. You know what I mean? They, anyone can betray you. Anyone can do X, Y, and Z. And so every day that you you know, like care about someone, anyone, like your parents, they could just, you know what I mean? It's like, that's like being vulnerable. And so people don't, it doesn't always have to be these crazy huge strides of being like, here's my whole, like me on the first day, be like, here's my whole life. It's not necessarily that, but it's just like, you know, being more open and compassionate and understanding. And like people, it's funny because she was talking about how like she did a lot of research and how like everyone wants other person to be vulnerable. Like they did a survey, it's like, would you want your friend, partner, blah, 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 to be vulnerable? And they're always like, yes, duh. But when asked like, are you vulnerable? Like it's like 80% said no or something like that. So it's like, we want the other person to be open, but we're not open with them, you know? And so it's, it's like an interesting concept. I think like about last Sunday I was driving I, I remember because I, I literally have like a really insane memory to the I'm like almost hyper hyper analytical like I'll remember the smallest things that people do like if we're hanging out and like you look at your phone at like for a split second and then like act differently like I pick up on that and I don't know it's not even on purpose like I just I feel like am I because I'm so analytical like I just pick up and my personality type's ENTJ and so is Ollie which is like a really it's only like two percent of people are ENTJ I'm not saying it's like cool or anything that it's just like when you're super like you pick up on the smallest things and Ollie picks up like that on that too so when we're together we're like but um uh, it, back to what I was saying, I'm sorry I'm like all over the place, but when I was driving in Silver Lake the other day and I was vlogging, talking about the whole looping in that day on that Sunday, I was talking about how like, you know, it, it is like kind of, I, I feel like when people, what happens is like, I feel like we're all naturally vulnerable, almost like naive, right? Like you, you think of people as being the best, you think of people as being that no one's out to hurt you, whatever, and through experiences, you know, relationships, friendships, when people do get hurt and other people do shocking things to them, like, you know, I've had that happen to me when you're like, what? you know what I mean? It almost makes you be like, I I'm not gonna, well, I'm not gonna be open like that anymore, well, I'm not gonna do that like that, you know what I mean? But then we go back to, like, manifestation, the second you're like, you almost, like, subconsciously expect someone to not betray you, but you know what I mean? Like, you almost, like, subconsciously have doubts, those doubts manifest, so it's so hard, it's, 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 I, this is just a concept, you know, it's what I work towards every day, but, like, you almost have, every time have to be open and set like the highest expectations and not have any subconscious like doubts and that takes you know time with people obviously be careful and use your intuition if you can tell someone's a fuck boy like move along when you know I mean? everything can be any example i say someone you know you can bring up a situation where it doesn't fit in exactly you know what i mean because it's like it's, every situation is so so loaded in so much experience and whatever like you know what i mean like I, if anyone can like ask me for advice like it's like every situation is so different you could have a similar issue but like because of people's energetic makeup and people's upbringing, like it's such a different situation. So obviously something I say, you could be like, well this, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying like on a general philosophical level, it's just like you almost have to like 
but that, that that goes back to like you know becoming a person you want to attract so i don't know it's just a conversation i'm never just be like i know it all. i'm telling you something like no this is literally a conversation these are just my thoughts like this is what happens like my mom listens to a lot of stuff and i listen to all stuff and i'll call her i'll be like what do you think about this so then it's just a conversation you like can let me know what you think but like i just personally think like every time i try to you know be always be the person i would want to attract in friends whatever and then you know always like have the highest expectations you know of someone because then it's like if it doesn't happen you know it's a vibrational mismatch at least i know i didn't like you know manifest it out of them almost in a sense Co okay so there's like fly flew in my apartment and coco i've never seen her more vigilant in my life she runs sprints like was literally in the air doing acrobatics and she caught the fly and the fly was like ha she had it in her hand it was like kind of fl like flying and she literally grabbed it with her mouth and ate it while it was like mid flying mid it flying mid air it was icon it was an iconic moment um, I'm about to go to the eye. I'm about to make make a little. I ran out of Ezekiel bread. I made avocado toast this morning. It was so good. I definitely should put like zoodles on it. But I'm going to right now reply to some emails. I have so many emails to reply to, and then um, I have to go to an eye doctor appointment. Really fun. And then after that, I'm gonna come home. I'm gonna put on these are my natural lashes. People are asking about my lashes. It's the Marc Jacobs mascara. I tell everyone I'm on my third tube. I'm not lying when I say it's incredible. I need to put on lashes, and then I'm gonna film like a workout haul. Um, a clothing haul, a makeup haul, and maybe another clothing haul, but I might do that one a different day because I don't need to film it today. But yeah, that's kind of what's up. Oh my gosh, I love you guys so, so, so much. It's just my, th my current thoughts. I'm sorry that yeah, yesterday there wasn't a vlog. I just like needed a day. Like I was just like, like you know, from like the week, I, just, I was just like not... I was just like trying to get everything done. I just wasn't, you know, in, in this like flow. I was kind of like, yeah, I don't know. The energy was weird. I was, it was fine, you know. I just like was like, I don't feel. I need. To, I just like need to be aligned and inspired every day. And yesterday I just kind of felt like, man, I went to bed at 8 p.m. last night. I was like, goodbye world. See you later. Um, but we're back at it today. Also, of course, like my nail broke. I need to like look at my planner and also do my schedule for this week. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I'm wearing fawn over me as usual. Kind of same makeup look I've been wearing, just natural light. Also, my flowers are dead. I need to get flowers. I have to go to Whole Foods today, but I don't want to go during the day. I might go like at night. Mm -hmm. hey guys, so it's a little bit later in the day. I'm going to my eye doctor appointment. I'm like, I told you, I was in like a mellow mood, which is so weird. I feel like I'm normally so hype, but I'm so calm. I was just working. Uh, I've been like obviously you know every Sunday I read the journals I like wrote a little bit about some thoughts I had and like I said I'm about to go to the eye doctor I still have to make an appointment to the dentist <laughs> my mom's coming to visit me and she's like I refuse to book my flight until you make your appointment to the dentist I just don't want to go I know I have a cavity to fill and I'm really scared I know this is like stupid but when you guys I have I've gotten cavities filled when I was younger I always remember them being painful so I have a really triggered memory and everyone else I've talked to is like dude it doesn't hurt the shot feels like one second like it's not you don't even feel anything like they put like a numbing cream so any of you guys have got a cavity filled lately can you please tell me about your experience I don't know it's so random also I got a new I posted on um, Instagram story like a Gucci thing and everyone was like oh my gosh like bitch tell us what it is so basically I've been wanting this new Gucci bag it's like new you know like that popular one with like the clasp like this and i wanted the regular size of it i thought i was like yeah it's like a good size thought it would fit super well whatever um and then i was like literally sat on ordering it i had it bookmarked and then i started like researching researching like how it looked on people it looked dude what the fuck are you doing it looked fine and then i saw my friend ali ali is a dollar team she picked up the bag but she got it in like the mini size and i was like watching her video and she was like showing it and i was like that looks like a normal size you know what i mean i was like that doesn't even look mini and so then i started like looking up so many tagged photos people had the mini versus the regular and then i just started noticing that like the regular is like really big like so then i was like oh my gosh i didn't want to go to the actual gucci store because i'm like lazy i love going to rodeo yeah it's fun but like i'd rather order online and have it delivered to me you know what i mean like i don't know i don't need the experience like it's, it comes in the box and like gucci has complimentary gift wrapping always so if you order get the complimentary gift wrapping write yourself a note i wrote myself a little card it said like you go girl um but anyway so i was like kind of like stuck in between because i was like okay like i wanted the regular size and the only issue I, why was i was stuck was because the mini doesn't fit my like wallet like that ysl wallet um which it's weird because even the gucci disco bag fits it so i was like damn like the width is thinner the width is smaller than the disco bag but it looks not as it doesn't look so mini so so stuck i was literally for like i guess i sound so like 
It wasn't a fucking consuming my life. But I'm just explaining the story. Someone's gonna be like, wow, like this is this is your biggest drama. No, I'm just letting you know like the background. So I was kind of like stuck in which one to get. And I like was kept looking at people's tagged photos and trying to like, figure out like their height and how it would look. And I was like, okay, like I, I was finally like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna just get the mini. I feel like it's gonna be the good size. So I ordered the mini in the nude color. It looks like this, and it's like such a good size. The only thing is, it doesn't fit my. It's like it doesn't fit like this much of my wallet. So I'm gonna have to. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna think I'm so crazy, but I kind of want to get like a new, like a smaller. I don't want to get a card holder. I have like card holders, but I need. I don't want to have my cards always just loose in there. Like I don't know. Also, energetically, it's really important to like take care of like your wallet or things like that so anyway i'm just like i don't know i'm crazy i know i'm crazy but i i now i'm like wow well now i want like a smaller wallet because like i love that wallet and it's annoying because like oh my gosh this is weird but like like i was saying like i really i'm gonna if i'm gonna keep carrying this bag i don't want to keep it like just thrown around I mean, I guess I can use a card holder if I can find my old one. I don't even know where my old card holder is. I literally have no idea what bag it would even be in. Like, I genuinely have no idea. But yeah, um, so this is what, like, the size is so good. The only thing I, like, was, like, it was really long, so I wrapped one of the chains around. I think Ali said to do that, too, because I'm 5'2", so, I mean, it was, like, a weird length. So I just wrapped, like, one of the chains under. It has two things. So, like, well, I just put my cards in here and then, like, that. If it's, like, a lot of stuff. Like, it's spacey. It just doesn't fit, like, width wide a lot. Like, if it's my phone, my 7 Plus and everything like that. My car keys, vlogging camera. I just need to figure out, like, the whole, you know. I don't know. I know it sounds like someone might be like, oh, you're really going to buy a new wallet for, like, your new bag. But it's, like, if I'm going to be carrying this bag a lot. I don't want to always have, a, have to be taking out my cards out of my regular wallet and throwing them in here. Like, constantly you know I, and i like a lot of cross body bags like that's why i like this one i love that like small balenciaga i've been wearing carrying the black Givenchy one a lot because i've been carrying a lot of shit with me everywhere that i've needed and but like usually i don't need that much stuff with me you know and so i love how it has two thingies though because i can put like parking validation and stuff here easily because i like i'm always like running around you know so that's the bag it looks really cute i like it i almost got the one with like the black right here but i figured i might as well just get nude because if i'm gonna be like what if i'm it's not gonna i'm just, I'm just thinking about outfit wise you know whatever so i got that i really really like it super cute i don't know like and it it's like on on you cross body it's like the perfect width like if it was any bigger like I, i'm really glad i didn't get the big one because it would have literally been like this something i'm like i think about the weirdest things i don't know if anyone else is into bags things about this but imagine like something this wide constantly hitting your um thigh like i feel like it's weird like i hate that look i hate when like it's a cross body and it's like too wide and it just looks like a piece of pa eight by 11 paper hitting your thigh oh it pisses me off so much so i'm so glad i didn't get the other one i mean i probably would have just like if i did get the bigger one i probably would have just never worn it cross body ever I probably would have like I, I have like that other big Givenchy, Givenchy the Gucci and that really big bag I always carry it it's like an oversized clutch and I love that but anyway going to the eye doctor love doing glamorous things there's a Starbucks so I might get myself no I don't even want a Starbucks I want I need to go to Whole Foods to pick up sriracha um more seaweed Ezekiel bread water I need to get water now actually I might just, I'm gonna run into Target but I can't wait to go get my eyes checked out finally get a new fucking prescription Anyway, guess what's up? What y'all doing? Let me know how your day's going. When I get back, I have so much. I, until, when I get back, I'm going to work until I go to bed, basically. And then I think I, all I need to help me take an Instagram that's for, like, I need to send it to some it's for a brand thing. So that's what's happening. just filmed. I filmed for, like, three hours, but I filmed the entire workout haul and all the try-on for it. And then I filmed this, like, Sephora haul with this really cool, like, video I'm doing with a brand. Um, and basically took out my eyelashes because my eyes are getting really really watery and also like you know what happens when like your eyelash your eyelid waters and then like eyeshadow won't stick to it so like this eye is fine but um this eye like it's so watery that there's like i have no eyeshadow right here and then it's like right it looks so messy honestly it looks like how your eyeshadow would look like if you stayed out till 7 a.m but i don't really care right now i'm going to ollie's i'll explain why for a second because i need to take an Instagram for me. I know that sounds like you might be like, what? But it's for a brand. I'm working with a brand on an Instagram. And so like we have to send all the time we just send our photo for approval before it gets post on, posted obviously just so the brand can see it. And so like I have to send the photo tonight. Um I love that man. This is like this old man who lives like parks next to me. He's like literally 50 and he drives a Range Rover and we always like have like the awkwardest conversation but like I love him. Um, but yeah, so I have to like send it over tonight. I, 
and I didn't know what the, I, I basically couldn't, I could have done a different night this week, but I completely forgot, so I'm doing it now, Ollie's helping me take it, and then I also need to take another Instagram for a thumbnail for a try on haul, because I noticed you guys like the, them better in, in a certain style, so I'm basically, I've been like working all day, so I'm basically gonna go do that. That's a vibe, she wanna vibe That's a vibe, yeah uh, That's a vibe